Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a very simple fly called the spade. Now this fly uh, is intended um, to be tied really on a lighter hook that enables it to uh, go through a, a lightly higher up in the water column so you're not snagging up. It's designed to go for fish that might be a little bit spooky in low clear water, that sort of thing. So it, it's a, a simple pattern that um, does the job quite well. Uh, it was designed in the 1960s uh, by Bob Arnold, and um, as I said, let's get into it. Uh, simple as it gets, and often these simple patterns really work well. So I'm going with a size 4 salmon single to just stay with the, the light hook. My thread is an 8 aught vivas black. My tail is uh, deer hair. The body is black chenille. And we're going to be using this soft grizzly hackle uh, to do the hackling. Um, I suppose you could use cock hackle too, but this is hen and it's nice and soft and it'll move well. It'll function like a soft hackle wet actually. So let's get tying. Since this is a chenille body, we don't have to worry about too much about making a really neat thread body here. Now, you can stack the deer hair if you wish, which is what I'm going to do here. The clump of deer hair I'm using is not very uh, big. And I put a soft wrap so it doesn't flare up too much. Now let's trim all this off. Now we tie in our chenille. And wind forward. And it's probably a good idea to get more of that deer hair off. It's going to poke through otherwise. Okay, now we'll just put a wrap at the back over the deer hair just to hold it in place and come forward. Come up on the return. We don't need to leave a lot of space here because all we're going to do is put in some hackle. Keep it all underneath. Now we tie in our Soft hen grizzly. Now this is going to, uh, having that schneel is going to make this hackle stand right up. But of course it wants to go forward, makes it a little bit more fiddle to put on. As you can see, I'm winding in front of the previous turn. Take a moment each time to push the barbs back out of the way. And now to whip finish. And some head cement. There we have our spade. Very simple fly. Um, you could tie the proportions a little different if you want. You could make it a little bit more low water by bringing the chenille and the tail a little bit closer to the front. You could tie it on a, a more of a Alec Jackson type spay hook if you wanted. There's a number of variations you can do, but the concept is, is basically simple. It, it's a chenille body, a deer hair tail, and uh, you know, a grizzly hackle wing, a uh, collar I should say, uh, and you're good to go. So there we go, the spade. Cheers.